were doing a lot of research during the book. So did you find anything interesting or new to you personally? Well, a lot of stuff was new to me. I mean, I, I had this, um, I guess growing up, I read a bit of history here and there, you know, and I thought I had a pretty good grasp of what was going on. But a lot of stuff that was in there was new to me, you know. Uh, and especially, like, I think the, 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 the merger years, for example, I mean, we've been told, sorry, a hundred times, but uh, the details and the actual events are very complicated, convoluted, and a lot of strands coming together. So uh, it took a lot of reading to kind of unravel them and understand what was going on. And I think uh, for me, that was one of the most, uh, I want to say exciting, but one of the most uh, edifying parts of doing the research. Yeah. And then, uh, the interesting part, I guess the interesting story was one of the interesting parts. Like, I, I had only been very vaguely aware of him before, and reading about him uh, gave me a, a sense that there was this big gap between what the older generation knew about him and what the, myself and younger generations would, would know about him. I think you were mentioning that you uh, spoke to your grandfather or someone like that and asked them about him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I asked my grandfather. I showed a picture of him to my grandfather and his, his, his response was, Oh, this is... You know? And then another guy I talked to said, Oh, he's a good You So I think people back then definitely had a sense of his role in Singapore history. Whereas uh, people like me and younger generations would have a harder time with him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to the question about the 